everyone, this is Celine from Blue Calla Patterns and welcome to video 5 for the Delphinium Hobo Bag. In this video we're really just doing the setting of the grommets and then uh, the bag will be complete. Now I wanted to talk a little bit more um, non-specifically about this, this, this pattern but just about uh, grommets in general. Um, I did get a lot of questions. Uh, about the about setting grommets from the ladies at my retreat so I'm not an expert but um, I have played around with grommets quite a bit I do have uh, patterns that have used grommets I have the Speedwell and the Dahlia so uh, just based on my experience with using grommets on those two patterns I thought I'd just talk a little bit about about them so there's a lot of different kinds of grommets out there um, there's more lightweight versions and then there's more heavy-duty versions that are used for heavy-duty applications like uh, grommets on tarps and things like that that would be more heavy-duty um, I use these lightweight grommets that I ordered from a place that is now closed um, it was a shop on Etsy they're no longer up and running but I really like these grommets because uh, they're extremely easy to set. The only downside is that the washer isn't very wide. It's quite narrow. And so in order for them to not come apart, it's extremely important that the layers that you're setting them in are well, very well stabilized. So if you're using, if you have a, a bag that has cork or vinyl, they should be okay. If you're just setting them in fabric, uh, I would add a little bit of Peltex in the area where you're going to be setting the grommets. So hidden in between the layers, you're going to want um, uh, something uh, like a stabilizer like Peltex or even foam interfacing uh, would probably be really helpful. And so I also have these heavy duty grommets. I'm just going to show you these. Just so you can see a comparison between the two, um, the washer, if you compare the washers, the washers are really, like these ones are way um, thicker, they're way wider than the thinner ones. And these are, um, these are more heavy duty grommets. And I ordered them from a place called Pacana here in, in Canada. And when you buy grommets, I always buy the setting tools that come with them because you're more likely to be successful setting them if you get the tools that are intended for them because you'll see the anvil here for example the 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 grommet is made to fit perfectly inside and this will just stop it from moving when you're trying to set it the downside of these and even though they provided the setting tool for them I find the post is very, very thick and very strong, and I find these grommets to be incredibly um, more challenging to set. And they do, the post is long, so you do need to set them in very thick layers, unless you have a rivet press. A rivet press, uh, well, a press rather, can be used to set rivets and grommets. I don't have a press. But if you have a press, you'd probably have better luck using this type of grommet because you can buy the dies to set them. And obviously a press is, requires a lot less force than manual tools. So that's all I'm going to talk about in terms of that. Um, getting back to the delphinium, I'm using my lightweight grommets and these have an inner diameter of 12 millimeters. I also have some in 14 millimeter size. So for those of you who use metric instead of, um, sorry, who use imperial instead of metric, it's approximately half an inch uh, inner diameter. Um, you can go uh, bigger, especially for the larger size of the, the bag. Um, it's you can definitely use a larger grommet but what I would do is just take your grommet and place your your grommet where it's going to be installed and just make sure that it fits and that um, if you need to make some adjustments in the installation that you make sure that you install all four in that same position at the top four corners of your bag 
Now, before, if you've never set a grommet before, I really don't recommend cutting into a finished bag to install a grommet without ever having practiced. Like anything else, practice, practice. So you're going to need uh, a wooden block and you're going to usually get, sorry, that's my iron shutting off. You're going to usually get three tools. If you purchase a grommet, uh, some grommets with the setting tools, it usually comes with these three pieces. So you have your hole punch, and these are all made to set a very specific size of grommet. So these are 12 millimeters. This is a 12 millimeter punch. So it's going to automatically punch the perfect sized hole and a 12 millimeter anvil and the setter. You're also going to need a hammer. Okay, and then what, what you want to do to practice is you want to create a layer sandwich that replicates exactly uh, the thickness and the number of layers in your bag. So I've, I've got cork here, I've got fleece, and I've got two, a layer of interfacing, a layer of cotton. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be installing a grommet in, uh, in this area of my bag right here. Okay, so the first thing you'll do is you'll make a mark where you're supposed to install your grommets and follow the location on your pattern. So I just, and I'm doing it with a white pencil so you can see. Now the bonus about the hole punch is that it has this opening that allows you to look inside to see where you're going to be cutting your, your hole and to make sure that you have uh, the, the hole punch centered over the mark. So, and you won't be able to see it in the video, but I'm centering, trying to center the mark. And then what I just do is I just press gently and I look to make sure that my mark is centered in the hole. Now, I don't want to be doing any loud hammering on the video, so I'm going to pause it so that I can mute a, a portion of the clip and then you can still see me hammering the hole. So I'm gonna pause and then restart. Okay, so you see I've used the hole punch and it cut a perfectly round hole. And now you're gonna take your, your anvil and you place your grommet. So you want not the washer, but the actual grommet part and you're putting it upside down. So the post part is sticking up. And then you take your bag and you want, you want this nice part of the grommet to be showing on the exterior of your bag. So I'm flipping this over. So pretend this is the lining side of your bag and then you place your washer. Now the washer, you want the nice part showing up. So you see the washer has a, a wrong side and a right side, so you want, you want it right side facing up. And then you're going to use the setter and place that inside the hole. So again, I'm gonna pause the video and then restart it while I'm hammering. Now with these lightweight grommets, you don't have to tap very hard. I find if you tap lightly all the way around, it sets it all the way around. And now this grommet is not going anywhere. It's nicely set. It's very important though that you keep it upright and that you not shift things sideways because these lightweight grommets, they're not very, as I said, they're not very thick. They're kind of thin and you wanna make sure that the post of the grommet wraps around the edges perfectly. Okay, so that's your practice grommet. If you're not 100%, practice a few times before you start punching holes and setting grommets in your bag. Okay, so keeping in mind that I'm, um, this is the small size of the bag and I'm using 12 millimeter grommets, the position that I've decided on is one and one quarter inches from the side seam here. So the edge of the side here. One and one quarter inches and three quarters of an inch from the top edge of the bag. So I'm using a clear ruler to do this because obviously it's gonna uh, um, make it a lot easier to find the correct position. Now it's a little bit difficult here because 
I've gone and used a I, even I'm having trouble seeing because it's so dark. <laughs> okay, so this is one and one quarter inch from the side seam and three quarters of an inch down from the top edge. Double check. Okay, so that's going to be the lo the installation location for my grommet. Now, when you're going to punch a hole, make sure you're slipping your wooden block in between the layers. You don't want to go and punch through all the layers even on the other side. You just want to punch hole in the layers of this one top corner. And then again, I'm going, I'm not going to go through and show it because I don't want to start hammering on the video again, but you're going to uh, redo all of the steps that I just showed you when installing the test grommet. So you're going to punch out your hole and then you're going to have to flip the bag over because you want to be looking at it from the lining side when you're installing. So you'll open this up, you'll place your anvil with your, with your grommet post side facing up and then place your bag over over top so you put the post through the hole place your washer and then play use your setter to set the grommet okay and you're going to do this on all four top corners of the bag so here here and here and i'll show you that on my sample bag okay so i have one here one here one here and one here. And then, once you have all four grommets set, then you're going to take your gate ring. And there's different kinds of gate rings. Some of them have screws like this kind. Some of them actually have like a little latch or you just press the latch and then you can slip it through. These ones here have a screw. So you're just going to need to really undo the one screw, open it up, and then you pass it through the two grommets on one side okay and then you and you put your screw and tighten it if you want you could put a little bit of um, glue inside the the hole so that your screws don't fall out of your gate rings and then you will be able to clip your strap through each gate ring and then you'll be done